Okay, folks, this will be an interesting one. Let's see if I can make this turn up a treat. Oh, I nearly forgot. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we have. We have here, it's a microfiber cloth, obviously for a pair of spectacles. And we've got these interesting bird patterns on there. I'm going to use the bottom ones. So I'm just going to line that up against the edge, just like that. So just like that, folks. Yeah, it looks interesting. The background colour, there's no background colour showing on this. Uh, so I think, yeah. Um, looks interesting nonetheless. Um, I'm going to get rid of the background colour because it's useless. Absolutely and utterly useless. So we're just going to get rid of that. And we're going to just maybe... We're going to overlap the edges of this. We don't want the the pinking of the edge, the pinking, I think that's what it's called, to show. It's going to look shit out. So we've just got to get rid of the pinking around, away from the edge. Uh, damn this user interface really is stupid I hate this company this company Konica Minolta are a bunch of fuckwits but to be honest Lee, to be honest folks the whole photocopier industry needs a shake up there's no no one's creating anything new or innovative they're just doing what's known as tinkering around the edges and creating uh, smoke and mirrors but they're not making any progress any real technological progress however much they want you to believe they are they just want to make you believe they're stupid smoke and mirrors they're fucking tricks they're trying to make it look really high tech when it's a load of shit when they just use the same old software from previous iterations and worse taking out features and the color in this looks really nice got the color looking good i do wonder Maybe the bird's tail has been cut off. Do we want that? Maybe we'll turn it round. We'll turn the thing around. 
going to focus on the bird, which is logical. So we're going to focus on maybe this bird here. It's really tricky, folks, trying to get this to work. I might have to enlarge it more than once. So I could probably use that bird here. Uh, I don't know what to do with it, folks. Fuck. Maybe we could scrunch it up. We can make it into a scrunch job. Something more interesting than just a fucking boring bird. So we're just going to enlarge it 400%. And we're just going to scrunch it. Make it into something more interesting. Sometimes doing it flat looks shit ass, folks, but it's not always easy to know when to do it flat or when to not. And that looks really like nice, but I think a background color will probably work. And I think yellow is the color of choice. So I'm gonna utilize a color for that. Now that we've got it not touching the glass, so it's not touching the glass in many places so we can have like a background color to make that look really nice and to add more to it make it more defined yeah looks interesting looks still looks wishy-washy like the first version um, I don't know which one I like. The yellow one looks interesting. Uh, we'll use the yellow one, folks. Um, we'll utilize that one. feeling I might not have darkened it properly. No, I didn't. I forgot to darken it. That's why it was so wishy-washy. Ah, oh, just get it. So, folks, we're going to just put it back on 400 and we're going to do it again. I do think we still have the, the, uh, yeah, we've got the settings in play. So we're just going to try that one again, folks. So I'm just going to scrunch it up really nice. That's better. The colour in that is a lot nicer than the texture, and you've got a nice uh, piece of the bird peeping through. Uh, I do. I don't like this part down there, though, folks. Um, but we're going to work with it, folks. So I'm just going to throw it away. It was on the dirt anyway. It's been in a dirty bag, so. Now we're just going to set it up, folks, back where we were with the, with the small enlargement that we always do when we're just making a copy of a copy out of this shit. But yeah, Konica and Minolta really don't know how to build decent copier systems. None of the industry that I know of is doing anything new or groundbreaking. Um, they haven't even taken advantage of the um, surge of interest in AI technology. And I was thinking about AI in photocopiers about 12 years ago. I was thinking about it then, even long before AI has been taking off in all sorts of areas. So the photocopier industry could benefit from that kind of input, um, that kind of, um, how should I put it, that kind of, yeah, input to have something different, to have something that actually makes these complicated features user-friendly not just for a person like myself and it's still not user-friendly incidentally as you can see but if we could use artificial intelligence in these equipments uh, we could definitely improve their 
um, usefulness and we and we won't have stupid things like companies taking out features like Konica Minolta have been creating versions of their equipment which hasn't got all this, much of this fancy stuff. A lot of it's just not there and it's frustrating when I use these defeatured equipments like at Officeworks. It's really quite infuriating not having control over the colours and, and the hue and all that sort of stuff or even colour balance or negative positive reversal. I, actually they do have negative positive reversal if I'm correct on those equipments but they're just taking out other features like the colour balance and the hue control and you just have no control over the fine adjustments like you see on a piece like this on a piece of equipment like this one I don't know if they still make machines that have got full features or if they've or if the demand has uh, dropped so much that they have stopped making these kinds but it's really quite discouraging to see that happen because the excitement of the photocopier industry was when they used to put new features in and the new features were different to the the previous iterations of equipment and now they don't do that everything stays the same or gets taken out and it's really discouraging to see that and but I'm not going to give up because one day I will create my own prototype of a future photocopier and it will go to market and eventually I will have a factory pumping out these equipments um, in Australia not in, not in, uh, not in China or overseas anywhere for that matter it's going to be made in australia as well as owned by australia and me <laughs> and designed in australia by me <laughs> and I, yeah I, i'm passionate about photocopies i really see something in it and we need artificial intelligence to be leveraged to make these equipments actually work properly because i want to solve problems with these equipments I don't want to be like the in, the industry as we know it and just try to make a quick dollar try to make money 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 all about money is, is all that it is and that's what's causing this problem and there's no photocopier nerds or geeks otherwise known as toner heads who are working in there they're not there anymore they don't have an R they don't appear to have an R&D lab anymore research and development so yeah and that's come up looking really quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.